been a while since I've been here. Two years ago, this happened. Oh, you okay? Oh my God, dude, are yeah. you all right? Really uh, injured myself. Here's where we filmed our intro. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Eric America. And we're out here today. This is called the Grapefruit Trails. This is a pretty popular place out here. These jumps are pretty insane. And there's some mild stuff. This is a nice spot. A bunch of trails out biking and all that it's, it's really nice they've been doing construction and working on new trails the last time i was here that was two years ago when i had my injury you okay it's a little bit of a walk i didn't bring a bike but we'll go and check it out now i'll show later but there's a drop a couple drops actually drops down comes up and through around goes around and i didn't know it but once i come around this corner this bend it goes and then you just drop and then go right back up i didn't know this was here until i was at this point where i could see it and by that time it was too late you're not going to stop your your momentum's already going and you just got to go for it luckily i didn't get injured here one thing I noticed too on these videos is it never looks as bad on the video as it does in person. But I assure you, this is a uh, this is a drop. Let's go take a look at where I got injured. All the way down there. Well, it really sucks because uh, I'm big into running, uh, you know, 5Ks, 8Ks, you know, two miles. You know, 8K is the most I've ever ran. was in Virginia so since uh, this injury it's kind of made it harder to, to do that the last one I went on was not that long ago it was it was a 5k in uh, Tampa Bay by the Ray Raymond James Stadium I was limping to the finish line that's what really got injured was was my knee even on the video you can't really tell because it doesn't look that bad but I, I was hurt. It actually put me out of work for, for a while. I had a few doctor visits. Luckily, I didn't have to do any kind of surgery or, or anything. Well, let me just say that jump, that wasn't maintained. It was uh, abandoned for a while. It wasn't meant to be, to be used. My cousin Eric tried a couple times and uh, he just, he didn't want to do it. I definitely did not have enough speed. Like, I feel like I hit this. It's gonna have to be full sin, dude. Full sin. Yeah, I'm not hitting that. I just don't feel like I'm getting enough speed. So I was, I'll, I'll try it. I just went for it. Oh! And I, I don't even think, I don't even think Eric even knew I was gonna really go for it until I was in the air instead of, you know, landing on top of it. I went into it because like i said the ramp wasn't maintained and it didn't have it didn't have the elevation that it needed and plus i'm a noob too so i didn't really i wasn't riding correctly either you could tell just the angle and how i was set <clears throat> it just wasn't didn't look good all right we are getting closer to the spot here's a spot where you start off as a, you drop come up here and then you go uphill. Like you said, it's really hard to see on video just how drastic the drop and elevations are. You can really see it when you're right on it, or like in this case, when you're up there going down, you can really tell. But at this spot, Eric rode his one wheel down it with no problems. He used to uh, be trimmed back and maintained, but that's the drop. Go up and you go uphill, keep going. But where I need to go is over here. We were heading towards the spot where I got injured. So I was doing fine up until then. This is all new. 
yeah before it was just it was just this row here i'll show you in the video where we are right about here and this is where eric was jumping across and it was on this trail and none of that was in there and then this one's a pretty intense jump which i've seen riders jump that but you you gotta have the right momentum you can't be slowing down or changing it you gotta you gotta ride it they make it look easy looks like it goes towards where i got injured so that might not even be the same as it was i mean that was two years ago i think this is the spot it looks totally different but i think this is it the eggs over there there's where it ends and then now was the other trail and it was like right before that so this is it wow this looks different they've been working on this so that's not even there anymore looks like they've taken more dirt out wow this is so different i can't tell where it was at i try to get visual i would say i feel like we're by these trees here obviously this is set up different looking up coming down the hill so it was like somewhere in here yeah i'm definitely not going to be revisiting this as far as like riding on it i mean that's a big jump look at how high you're dropping from if i didn't have that injury i uh i might have tried it that again i don't know and where i missed it too is i should have just rode more trails and jumps minor ones to kind of get the feel of how to ride and what to do what not to do and all that but i just saw an opportunity and i was like let me go for it and i went for it and uh Oh my god, dude, are you alright? Yeah, at least I, I tried. Yeah, there's nobody here. And even through here, where we started, uh, you start going through there. And it's like oh pretty calm it's just you know a little up and you know up and down over you know cur curving around and then you'll get to a spot where it just drops you oh, that is crazy can you go down it I'll try just uh, drop down in there all right oh this is stupid i did not think i was gonna make that to be honest I thought I was dead. I thought I was just dead. A lot of people get hurt on these trails. I don't see if it's still over there, but there's a spot. Something zebra because there's a rug. Or there was a rug there that was had a zebra print on it. So it was like a go-to spot and a jump that people would, would come to try out. Wow, this is new. Got a couple new drops. A little seating area and just sit here and watch which i actually might do one of these times we'd like to see that come out on a time where it's kind of busy and set up a camera or something here and watch people jump come in from over there and then you drop here which i've tried doesn't look too bad but then you go to that it's not too bad I, i'd do that even this because you used to come up here and then go that way now you come this way and you can drop down this way i don't know how far down it goes that way it comes back i guess and goes goes back up here i guess and then you can go down here or you can just come up this way come up this way and just go down but this is where you start here and it seems pretty mild and you're like oh okay no big deal drop down you know this part isn't isn't so bad and now they got these these are new these weren't there before 
I mean, that, that, that's a big jump there. Wow. It says zebra. This is the spot. I started here because it's like, you know, easier. But this is where, like here, you gotta jump. Oh yeah, this is the, yep, still got the zebra rug. You gotta jump and clear all this. Can you imagine just hitting that? I wonder how many times there's been an injury here. Like it's one thing to start here, even this is pretty intense, that drastic of a drop. But when you got that, you have to, you have to jump and land and continue. Uh, that's a professional's there. I want to say I might have even done this one. I know for sure I went that one. You know, even this little jump. Crazy. I have to come out here when there's more, more people, and uh, just videotape some people. You know, the riders doing their jumps and, and trails. It's fun to watch. Let me know if you want to see if you want to see more videos there. There's uh, you know, guys here working, probably still working the trails, and these are the easy, easier ones. That's what's on the map over here. Which where we at? We're at, we're right here. So you got number one trail that starts here, goes there. That's a beginner. If you need to walk it, please walk to the side and do not damage entrance exit surface. There's no bypass. More challenging than bridge one, so number two more challenging it can also be rolled by beginners uh, which you can walk it but keep it aside it's approaching intermediate skill level look before you ride but do not block riders coming from behind the trails you have to go certain ways or else you're gonna end up having a collision there's some fun spots in there i don't think i've been through all of it in here but i've been through a lot of it i need to stick to these beginner trails for now and maybe I will if I do come out here ever again and ride trails. I'll uh, I'll make a video on it, whether it's to come and watch other riders, like I said, or you know, slapping a GoPro on my helmet and riding the trails myself. But uh, taking it easy, of course. So until the next one, see you then.